Hi, Derek Bone with Knives Ship Free. I want to talk to you today about the elusive Chris Reeve Sabenza 25. Uh, it's kind of elusive because they've been having trouble keeping up with the production of it because it's so popular. Um, this is brand new in 2013 and the tw Sabenza 25 uh, represents a whole lot of of subtle but important changes to the Sabenza 25. Um, this is the Sabenza 21. I want to hold want you to be able to look at them together. And the differences between these two, uh, the blade shape is a little bit different on the on the 25. It's got a little more belly. It's uh, the thickness of the blade. Uh, the 25 is a little thicker. It has dual thumb studs on the on the 25. Um, the grind is different. Uh, the Sabenza 21s have a deep hollow grind whereas the S35 VN blade on this has almost a flat grind. It's a very shallow hollow grind. I've heard it talked about as a flat grind but it's not. But it's a very very shallow hollow grind. Almost flat. They increased the size of the pivot. They took out the machining hole that was that has been in the Sabenza for years. They added uh, finger grooves. Now these finger grooves, when you put it in your hand, are unobtrusive. And that's a very important thing about finger grooves because sometimes they are very un they're uncomfortable, they force you to hold the knife in a particular way. These don't. They're, they're very comfortable. The jimping is a little more aggressive on the back end of the knife. There's a few other subtle changes that, like the way the lockup works is instead of just being metal on titanium, this one actually has a ceramic uh, ball bearing in there that, that rides on it, which makes it feel so much better. Hard to describe how much better it feels. The action on it is actually, if you can believe it, smoother than a regular Sabenza. I don't know how they did it. The Sabenza 25 is the latest from Chris Reeve, and it is really worth taking a look at.